Hello and welcome. In this video, we will see about GFF3, GTF or GFF format. GFF or gene file format or GTF or gene transfer format is heavily utilized within bioinformatics analysis because this format is utilized for the organization and data, data organization and data storage of gene structure that within a single genome for example a particular genome can have multiple and hundreds of thousands of genomes uh, genes within a particular genome for example humans have over 20,000 genes and coronavirus have over 12 genes so that gene starts from one position to another and then there is a gap of intron then starts from then it starts at another position then there is a gap then another gene starts so to actually correspond to those positions to actually store those positions we need a data format so that data format format is utilized through gene transfer format gtf or gene file format gff there has been a third version release that is known as gff3 Basically, all three are the same, GFF3, GFF, GTF, all three are the same, the data organization is same, except that there is some kind of change. So basically, right now I have a GFF3 file format of gene structures that are all of the genes available within coronavirus that are 12 actually. So let me uh, verify it. Let's, there are uh, I guess so I have opened this file in Visual Studio code that I retrieved from NCBI you can go to this link and retrieve it uh, this is actually the taxonomy link of the species you can go to the uh, this accession and retrieve the file format through send to option if you don't know how to do that kindly watch our UCSC video that allows you to uh, that teaches you how to retrieve genome and genome annotation data so right now I have opened GFF3 file on Visual Studio Code, but it is not actually being visualized through a proper manner. So I'm going to open it on Excel as well. So to have a better uh, comprehension because a gene file format is actually tab delimited data. There is a gap in each, in each column. There is a data stored in a row and column wise and each, each row has a different set of data, but is related to the same structure. So let's copy it all and let's open it on Excel so I can uh, explain it better to you. Now, as you can see, the data has uh, on itself uh, corresponded to uh, the respective columns on itself. So let's uh, uh, explain these two first rows. Actually, whenever you download a or retrieve a JTF file format or gene file format, and the first line actually provides you the sequence region that the region that the file actually belongs to the region actually that that you have been utilizing to get this data actually belongs to so in our case it is a single chromosome because coronavirus has a single chromosome so that accession is being provided and the total number uh, total base pair length 